to Port Limon. So we're just walking the streets of Port Limon and just um, came from the shoreline, which I'll show you um, in a few moments. It's really beautiful here and it's a really good day for us because it's been very hot in all the cities um, that the cruise ship, the Norwegian Dawn, Ooh, traffic. The Norwegian Dawn has docked in, so we're just going to wander through the streets and take you with us. Saying This is the port that you land in, so you just end up in this parking lot where there are a few tents that you walk through and a little market that they've set up to basically, um, you know, entice you to buy their various goods and I'll show you what um, you can expect when you walk to the market. But basically, basically what you can expect is a bunch of um, taxi drivers ready to take you to a variety of places including um, beaches that are about 15 to 20 minutes away, uh, the rainforest, chocolate farms, um, a jaguar rescue center, um, various rescue centers for a variety of animals um, and things like that. Uh, we found that the prices were quite expensive here so what they were charging to give you an idea for example to go to the chocolate farm or to the rescue um, centers for the injured animals it was forty dollars US per person so they're not charging per taxi they're charging per person at the taxis here at the port so in terms of the shore excursions that you'll find um, on your cruise there are things to do like going through um, going on an aerial tram through the rainforest or going um, to various uh, rescue centers and things like that and they charge about $80 per person that's it that's the transfer there and back and I think admission. We found that to be quite pricey and so what we did instead is we just, as you can see here, um, we kind of end up in what's basically their downtown. It's not super developed here. You can even see far away in the distance the church that we walk to so you can probably see, whew, I apologize for my weird finger, there's that, whew, okay it's focusing on my finger, okay. So where the edge of my finger is, you can kind of see like what would look like a church top thing. That's not the church. This really tall building here, that's the church. So that's a cathedral. So we walked to that cathedral and I'll show you the footage of what it looks like there. But basically it's about a 5-10 to minute walk from Port. You can easily walk through downtown about 10 minutes flat. Um, so we walked to that church right over there. Um, it's a modern rebuild that they rebuilt in 2009 after they demolished it in 2001. Um, they did a modern rebuild um, and so as you can see from the footage they kept the stained glass windows um, and some of the original um, sculptures and they're trying to save the bell tower at the moment um, but it's basically completely new and a very modern um, sleek build. And so we walked to that um, and took a look around town and I'll uh, walk you through the footage of us walking around town um, but it's it's as you would expect. It's just a small coastal port um, and it doesn't appear they have much access to uh, Wi-Fi in most places or smartphones that can access it easily with the plans that you can get here um, or use things like banking apps because we saw lineups at both internet cafes and banks um, walking around here so um, it's definitely a different way of life and they don't really take credit card anywhere, so just bear that in mind. And so, and if you are traveling to South America, um, I would bear that in mind as a general. Most places we've been to don't take credit card. Um, and I really recommend that if you bring US dollars or the local currency, try and get as many small bills as possible because we have been, um, I wouldn't say ripped off, but um, at a disadvantage because if you negotiate on a cheaper price for things for uh, taxis or whatever else or if you try to purchase something at the store they'll either claim um, in some place that they don't have change or they'll give you the amount and then they'll say thanks for the tip and won't give you change um, so I mean they obviously are very reliant on um, tourism and um, really I'm not going to quabble over not getting my change back but um, if it's something that does um, concern you definitely recommend small bills so that you know if you agree for you know six dollar taxi fare um, that you don't 
then expect to get change for your $10 bill back. So in terms of what to expect here, hot weather, definitely loose clothing is a must, um, local currency or US dollars, um, both are accepted in certain places. Um, and then uh, small bills is definitely going to be your friend. Um, and then if you want to do things, um, just be mindful of the taxi fares that await you. Um, but there's definitely plenty to do. I hope that was helpful in terms of what to expect in Puerto Lima, Costa Rica. And as you can see, Puerto Lima is very gorgeous. And so whether or not you're checking out the rainforest or rescue centers and seeing um, the local animals here. There's something for everyone. There's even a chocolate farm, so enjoy your travels. walking through a random park that we found in the middle of what I guess I would call downtown. Um, it's really hot outside and I have to admit this is like the perfect place to stop and just see the trees. It feels very rainforesty in here actually. But yeah, I'll show you this random park.
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!